In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may the grace and peace of the Lord be with you all. Good morning, everybody. Good morning to those who are watching us online. Today is the memorial of St. Aloysius Gonzaga. He lived in the latter part of the 16th century. Uh, originally, he was a page uh, for the Medicis and of uh, King Philip II of Spain. He renounced his, uh, his role uh, and his inheritance and joined the Jesuits. And there he had developed a deep devotion to the Eucharist and of charitable service, especially towards the sick. He died in, uh, in the year 1591 at the age of 23 while caring for those who uh, were dying of a plague that hit that area. He's also considered uh, the patron saint of those afflicted with HIV AIDS. Let us call to mind our sins as we seek the Lord's mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the sick. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ Jesus, you forgive sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, giver of heavenly gifts, who in St. Aloysius Gonzaga joined penitence to a wonderful innocence of life, grant through his merits and intercession that though we have failed to follow him in innocence, we may imitate him in penitence. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. You may be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord said to Abram, Go forth from the land of your kinsfolk and from your father's house to the land that I will show you. I will make of you a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and curse those who curse you. All the communities of the earth shall find blessing in you. Abram went as the Lord directed him, and Lot went with him. Abram was 75 years old when he left Haran. Abram took his wife Sarai, his brother's son Lot, all the possessions that they had accumulated, and the persons they had acquired in Haran, and they set out for the land of Canaan. When they came to the land of Canaan, Abram passed through the land as far as the sacred place at Shechem by the Terebinth of Morah. The Canaanites were then in the land. The Lord appeared to Abram and said, To your descendants I will give this land. So Abram built an altar there to the Lord who had appeared to him. From there he moved on to the hill country east of Bethel, pitching his tent with Bethel to the west and Ai to the east. He built an altar there to the Lord and invoked the Lord by name. Then Abram journeyed on by stages to the Negev. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. From heaven the Lord looks down, he sees all mankind. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness. 
to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. Blessed the Lord, the Lord has chosen to be his own. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us, who have put our hope in you. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Alleluia, alleluia. The word of God is living and effective, able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Stop judging that you may not be judged. For as you judge, so will you be judged. And the measure with which you measure will be measured out to you. Why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye? but do not perceive the wooden beam in your own eye. How can you say to your brother, let me remove the splinter from your eye while the wooden beam is in your eye? You hypocrite, remove the wooden beam from your eye first, then you will see clearly to remove the splinter from your brother's eye. The Gospel of the Lord. We sure love to criticize. We do that uh, uh, towards uh, referees at a sporting event, and uh, I, I gave uh, Kenneth a full warning that uh, he has to wear earplugs come Raven Sunday because <laughs> my neighbors would hear me scream. We thrive on watching television pundits slam those who don't share their opinions. We eagerly look for the faults in someone who seems to have it all. We mentally judge the clothing or the intelligence or the behavior of co-workers, friends, and others we come in contact with. Some of us are hardest on our own families, a spouse, children, brother or sister. We see their failings without acknowledging their talents and gifts. Often we do this in the name of helping the other because we ourselves have managed to get it right, self-righteousness at its best. The others simply don't measure up. But the log in our eyes is elusive. We can only see it if we look with the eyes of the heart, if we look with love toward our sisters and brothers. Love exposes the logs in our eyes for what they are, and it makes us realize how imperfect we truly are and will always be. Love helps us to pull out the log slowly and carefully so that our own lives can begin to change. In recognizing our shortcomings and failings, we develop compassion for those around us. We do not stand alone in our righteousness, but accept that all of us need God's love, mercy, and forgiveness. They are the heart and the hands of Jesus in our world, the means by which we can spread the love of God and of neighbor.
Sisters and brothers, we continue our prayer as we respond to each petition. Lord, hear our prayer. For the universal church and those who minister to her members, may God's grace nourish and strengthen them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace among nations and peace in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to division and intolerance among all people, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For those gathered here, may God nourish our efforts to grow in lives of holiness through the sacraments. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died in faith, as they trust God on earth, may they rejoice to see his face in glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Florence and Joseph Steele, for whom this Mass is offered, and for what or for whom do we pray for today? Lord, hear our prayer. Make all these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer you, fruit to the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Amen. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, O Lord, that by the example of St. Aloysius, we may take our place at the heavenly banquet, clothed always in our wedding garment, so that by participation in this mystery, we may possess the riches of your grace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you forever. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, 
Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. O Lord, you are indeed holy, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks. He broke it, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks. He gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, your people spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, the Martyrs, Saint Aloysius Gonzaga, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through Jesus Christ, your Son, through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We pray the words that Jesus himself once prayed. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress and anxiety as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith and courage of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God,
Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are we called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Bring us who have been fed with the food of angels, O Lord, to serve you in purity of heart, and following the example of St. Aloysius, whom we honor today, may we persevere in constant thanksgiving through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks be to God. Have a nice day, everybody. Thank you.